we've previously done a video on the pod all rotor where we took it along on our dual cab U to the year awards and showed just what an excellent off-road vehicle camper trailer these are uh, you can see here that uh, I'm actually starting to put up the pod extreme which we've taken on our recent touring trip up through the Flinders Ranges, up the Udendata track, Birdsville track, uh, on through Cordillo Downs, down to the Dig Tree in the Cooper Creek, uh, Inaminka, and then through the Streslecki track, Cameron Corner, and on to Broken Hill. Um, I guess the location here is the quintessential Australian iconic location. We are actually in the bed of Cooper's Creek on the Birdsville track, some place that uh, I've always wanted to go ever since I was a little kid and this is the first time we've been. This is also the first time I've actually put up the rooftop tent. Uh, up until now the girls have always done it and they've done it a lot quicker than I have but I wanted to actually see just how long it took because you hear a lot of talk from people saying it takes 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, five minutes or whatever. This literally has taken less than a minute and a half to put up and um, once it's up, you're all set for the night. There's no tent poles, there's no guy ropes. You've just got to actually um, stretch a couple of the uh, internal poles out to stretch the tent out. And uh, you're set up for the night. We have left the sleeping bags in there uh, for the girls to make it extremely comfortable for them and to also um, increase the storage in the car. We've used the pod camper trailer now on a couple of occasions and found it great. It just is so light and easy and it follows along behind the car wherever we take the car. This particular one is an off-road version, so it has the heavy duty independent trailing arm suspension. Uh, we've got the same tyres to match our car which is great. It's also got the ARB tent on top which takes a little bit of getting used to. It's a bit fiddly but it's, it's a good size for two people two-door to sleep up there which is great. I'm not a huge fan of car top tents um, but this one sort of works pretty well on this trailer and it gives you great advantage of all the storage area underneath. One thing I have noticed is that when the tent is up if you want to access the trailer at all it makes it difficult because you really can't lift it up to get into the bits at the end. And that's, so you've got to think about how you're packing the trailer I guess to make sure that what you use all the time is at the back what you don't use very often but need is at the front of the trailer so it takes a little bit of thought in terms of packing of course once the tents all folded up access is fantastic so that's not an issue
As I said, with the tent up, you still can access underneath, but it's it's a little bit difficult getting in there, and you've got the weight of the tent, and it sits and it, it pulls the pod sideways. So. As you've seen from the video, we have taken this trailer over some of the roughest roads that you will probably ever see in Australia. The corrugations, the ironstone, up the Burzel Strack on the Gibbers, and it has not faltered once. It's just tracked along beautifully behind the car. Because it is so lightweight, it takes all that pressure off the car that you find with the really heavy camper trailers. Like everything, there's a compromise, but with the pod, the compromises are worth it. Great storage, some of it's a little bit difficult to access. Rooftop tent, take it or leave it, it depends on how you feel about those. Um, but other than that, everything on it's fantastic. Pod Extreme has a nice simple hand pump attachment which is great because for too long I've seen people that uh, will leave their, their tap running in 12 litres per minute and all of a sudden all your water's gone. It also has two um, jerry can holders, the spare wheel is underneath and there's also room for two gas bottles at the back of the trailer as well. Uh, it runs on a DO35 inch which is great for off-road driving and a front storage box which is huge, uh, dustproof and uh, waterproof. Well that's it for the Pod Extreme um, and our Outback trip. The Extreme's made a fantastic touring trailer. You can option it up with all the things that you want or you can keep it nice and simple and lightweight. It's light enough to be able to push around um, the camp if you if you want to reset it by hand. Uh, we really enjoy the time with it. Have a look at it well worthwhile looking at if you want something that's just a little bit different to the normal camper trailers out there. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next time.